All right, good evening everybody. It's your boy Akeen and welcome to today's second vlog. I'm expecting a huge snowstorm where I'm at, so I decided to come up with a second vlog of what I was going to preview for tomorrow, but due to the snowstorm, I decided to do this today and talk about my scout report for tomorrow on Missouri's Michael Sam. Now we all know the latest draft buzz headed towards this year's draft when Michael Sam openly admitted that he is gay to all the media and the world, and I'm very proud of him. He showed a lot of courage with that effort. Now let's talk about who he is. He's a consensus All-American this past season as well as the co-defensive player of the year of the SEC Conference while leading the conference in 11 with 11 and a half sacks and 19 tackles for loss to go along with 48 tackles. This kid is very impressive. Now let's talk about, let's talk about his strengths and weaknesses. First his strength he compacts a well-developed frame for his size at 6'2", 255 pounds. And he also has a very good initial quickness and explosion to get past these offensive tackles to get to opposing quarterbacks. And he has a good natural leverage advantage against these offensive tackles where he's already low to the ground and he can bull rush and overpower these offensive tackles using his churning legs. He uses legs very fluently and I do like that a lot. And he uses not only the bull rush but other good techniques like the club and the rip to get to quarterbacks and even get to behind the line of scrimmage to even register 19 tackles for loss. Also, he has a good acceleration, and he also surprisingly gets through gaps very, very fluently, meaning he can slip through gaps because of his size. He's kind of slim, but he's lean, and he could definitely get in that line of scrimmage to, to disrupt and help support the run defense, which is pretty good. Also, he has good awareness and quickness, which helps him, I believe, what can help him to make a transition to outside linebacker, in which a lot of NFL teams is probably going to look for and use him because of his size. Now, like I said, 250 five pounds that is very light at the defensive end position so I need to talk about his weaknesses starting with that also a lot of teams believe at six foot two that is a little bit shorter than what a lot of people look for at the defensive end position. But let's not forget, we do have a couple of defensive ends who have had successful careers in this league, like Elvis Dumerville and uh, Dwight Freeney. Dwight Freeney was only six foot one and weighing 260, and he was picked 11th overall coming out of Syracuse. I think he could. I could compare Michael Sam to them. These are two particular good athletes, all pro athletes, and Dwight Freeney and Elvis Dumerville. Now, a couple other weaknesses he has is, is that he does not he does have good technique and getting past these offensive tackles, but he struggles ripping away from them once they lock him in, and he has a hard time separating himself once he is locked into offensive tackles, and that is going to be a very key component that he needs to work on heading towards this next level in the NFL. He needs to work on that a lot better because once he's locked on, he's pretty much nothing. He needs to work on his way to cut his way and use more power and be more aggressive to get away and shed these blockers once they're locked on. Now, my also, he has less experience in, as well as his coverage, so I'm a little bit concerned of, making him, of him making the transition to the outside linebacker position. I still think he could play defensive end, and I can still, he can still step out in coverage every once in a while, once asked, but he still needs to work on his cover skills in order to be a good all-around outside linebacker if a team decides to go that direction and use him as a 4-3 or 3-4 outside linebacker. Now, my final thoughts on Michael Sam, like I said before, I really appreciate Appreciate his honesty and I think that teams in the National Football League need to overlook this player or what he does outside the field we cannot control his uh, he cannot control his sexual preference and I appreciate him being honest and telling the truth to not only himself but the world which is very important that is the type of player that I want on my team a player who is real to the locker room and let everybody know who he is and that is very courageous I am proud of Michael Sam for his efforts now I don't agree what he he is doing but I have to respect for what he is and I even respect him more as a man overall this is still a man and him playing in the SEC conference arguably the best conference in the National Football League and in, in the um, in, in the college rankings and pretty much a mini NFL league itself it pretty much itself in, in looking at his numbers it pretty is pretty self-explanatory of how well he is playing so good co-defensive player of the year in the SEC conference this is definitely at least a third round pick for the 
this year's draft. But I feel that a lot of teams and players are actually going away from him because they feel uncomfortable with him on the teams, because uh, on, on the locker rooms. A lot of players openly admit it, including Hall of Famer Tony Dorsett. He doesn't really feel this is going to work well in the National Football League. But another Hall of Famer and Michael Irvin, he's open what he, he's open on some heart towards him, and he supports Michael Sam all the way. I think that teams need to overlook his sexual preference and what he does off the field. He's still a good um, community citizen and still just overlook that and look at him and look at the tapes. Look at him as a player on the field, and he is one of the most dominant players in college football this past season. Defensive player of the year pretty much explains it for itself. Now, the next time I'm going to catch you guys is on Friday. Hopefully, if I get through this storm, and I will still present to you all my top five prospects headed towards the 2014 NFL Draft with my top five tackles. Hopefully, I'll catch you guys then. Thank you for watching today's blog from Pro Football Exclusive. I'm your man, Akeem McCall. Be easy.